I came to Washington in September 11th and September 12th of 2008 to accompany other veterans in bringing our story regarding Agent Orange and herbicide issues that resulted from the Vietnam campaign. It's a continuing story because not only yesterday on the 11th and today on the 12th, 2008, did I assist other veterans in passing information to all members of the Senate and House Veterans Affairs Committee on the herbicide issues. I'm doing a continuing program in being available to talk about what does it mean that you're a veteran that has some illness relative to the Agent Orange. I myself am a prostate cancer survivor. I am not cured. I still take medication and I'm still being seen. Fortunately, I was quite young, 52, when I was diagnosed 19 years ago. But the fact is, when I was diagnosed, I wasn't even covered by the VA program because I was diagnosed in 1989. And the VA didn't even add prostate cancer to their presumptives program till 1996. How I actually got involved with the program in watching today is that it started in 2004 when I assisted a Coast Guard veteran friend who I went to high school with and her, she was telling me of her husband that he had prostate cancer, as I did. And I told her had he filed for any compensation or benefits from the VA. He had not. So I assisted him in preparing the VA form and sent it in in August of 2004. Unfortunately, his VA claim was denied later in, in 2004 or early 2005. And at that same time, I found out that the Veterans Disabilities Benefits Commission was formed. And in May of 2005, I attended and gave testimony, the first person to give public testimony to the VA Disabilities Benefits Commission regarding the Blue Water Vietnam veterans issue, whether it's Navy, Coast Guard, Marine, anyone who served offshore, telling the story of the inequity, the unfairness, the injustice of people who had served as veterans but have been denied medical support for illnesses as a result of Agent Orange or herbicide exposure. And since that time in May of 2005, I attended almost every open hearing that the commission held for 28 months. And then when the report was published in October of 2007, I listened to and attended some of the hearings that uh, briefing the report to the House and Senate and to other groups. And presently, of course, Congressman Filner in his committees for the Veterans Affairs and Senator Akakar in the Senate program are working out the necessary bills to take the recommendations as supported by the commission. Some of which require, of course, Congress to pass some bills, some of which just require oversight for the VA to initiate. And hopefully those recommendations will improve and assist the VA, the, the veteran who has served his country, he who has served 
his country, he or she, in an exemplary manner.